Hey everyone, so this is a look at the Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB memory. Uh, Corsair is uh, known for their Dominator series as being, you know, more high-end, well-built uh, memory that you can get. Uh, this is uh, 16 gig gigabytes um, and it's 3200 megahertz. Uh, it's based on Samsung uh, memory die and it has timings of 14, 14, 14, 34. Uh, and since it's based on Samsung, it should be able to overclock uh, fairly well. Um, and you know they've changed the design uh, of their new, of this memory from the previous dominators. Some people m might like it. Some people might not might not like it. Um, I personally like it. I like a lot of the customization that you can now do with this memory um, and the LED uh, lights. Um, so what we're going to do is. Uh, put in the system, boot it up, and I'm going to show you some of the things it can do in the IQ software. So I have the uh, IQ software loaded up here uh, on my computer. So here you can see um, the memory showing up uh, in the devices. Uh, on the home screen you can actually see, you know, there's all your devices and then you can select the memory from here and it actually shows you the temperature of each, mo of each module. Um, and then under the uh, Lighting effects section. This is where you can actually, you know, play with the memory, and you know, change the effect and the colors and things like that. So, like right now, I have it on rain, and this is the one that I've been using since I got the memory. I quite like the effect. It kind of makes it, uh, you know, your build look a little different. Um, and uh, from here, you can see the timings. So as you can see, I've actually overclocked the memory, so I'm running it at 34. 100 megahertz um, with the default timings of 14, 14, 14, 34, which is pretty good. These are very, uh, this is a very good overclock considering I have kept the timings uh, pretty low. Usually, on um, most DDR4 memory in the 3200 to 3400 megahertz range, you're looking at latencies of like 15 or 16, sometimes even 17. In fact, I think Corsair's older memory was around 16 or 17. So the new memory that they've come out with is both uh, faster and you can overclock it, you know, pretty well considering you don't even have to, you know, uh, make any adjustments to the late latency. So this is all good for performance. Um, and like I said, I like the design of the memory. I think it looks really slick. It looks very, uh, you know, nice if you're just going to go for like any, it can work with any build, like whether you go black, whether you go white, whether you, you know, it's black, you know, memory, and then you can use the colors to, you know, do whatever you want to make it, you know, adjustments to your build. Okay, so as you can see, uh, that is the memory right there, and that's the rain effect, and I have it on random colors. It's currently set to go down, but I can make adjustments for, to make the memory uh, effects go up. So there's a little bit of a delay, so as now you'll see that the memory effect is moving upwards instead of downwards. Um, I like having it on down. Um, and starting at the top, we have Rainbow Wave. And I'm just leaving it on the default colors. By default it usually just uh, has random colors. This is, the next one is Spiral Rainbow. And as you can see, I have the Corsair, Corsair <clears throat> LL fans as well with my build, so it all kind of, you know, matches. And then we have just Rainbow. This is Rainbow. Some effects are more subtle than others, um, you know, uh, then, then we have, I already showed Rain, so I won't show that one. This one's called Visor. You know, this could be kind of distracting. This is sequential. And again, I can adjust the direction. Right now it's set to go up, but if I wanted to, I could set it to go down. It's almost like rain, but you know, it, 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 it's not like, you know, there's leaving an empty trail behind. Next one is Marquee. So with Marquee, 
uh, it doesn't randomize the colors. It, you, you select a solid color. And I should say, with all these uh, effects, you can adjust the speed as well. I'm leaving everything at the default. This one's called Stack. This one's kind of neat, actually. It's like rain, but like it, you know, each little LED fills up solid, and then it starts over. Inside Out. This one's called Inside Out. It's almost kind of like a breathing effect. So I should say also the neat thing about all of like Corsair's uh, newer LED products like their fans and the, and the memory is that when you choose an effect in Corsair iLink, it saves your choice in the hardware. So when you restart your computer or whatever, like whenever you're not in Windows, the effects stay. So it's not like you have to wait for the um, Windows to boot properly in order to get the effect. Some of the, you know, other memory brands, you know, don't have that. So even though Corsair products tend to be a little bit more expensive, they are actually built really well and they have thought things through to make it a lot more seamless and, and integrate better. And the IQ software is a lot better than their, their older Link software that they had. Um, and they're constantly releasing updates. The next effect here is called Water. This one's on a solid color, but so you can choose different colors. Other than that, there's no other real real effects that sort of stand out. I mean, there's a temperature effect, uh, so um, you can adjust the color based on your your temperature. Uh, I don't see the point in doing that really. So I don't know. I like rain. I would say my favorite is rain and stack, honestly. So yeah, I think this memory is really awesome. Um, it's expensive, uh, so um, be prepared to pay a premium because you're gonna pay more just because it has the Corsair name on it. You're gonna pay more because it's brand new, it's literally just come out. Um, and you're gonna pay more because like the speeds are pretty darn good and it has really good overclockability, the timings are tight. So yeah, I think it's pretty awesome memory. Um, you can get it online already. Um, I bought mine off Newegg. Uh, so yeah, um, haven't done a video in a while. Have been pretty busy. I don't do this do videos like on a daily basis. I'm not like a regular. I, I get it. But you know, when I see something cool, I'm gonna do a video. Um, so yeah, I think this memory is pretty cool. So if you know you have any questions or you have experience with this memory, uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. See you later.